second day in Kentucky. We haven't had a whole lot of luck here. This is the buck stand where we're trying to get the four o'clock buck to come into. Um, last night we had a doe and two yearlings come in. Um, Matt shot a doe up in the meadow. And, uh, we took the morning off hunting to deal with that situation. We got in here about an hour ago or so. And we're hoping that after that rain had just come through about an hour and a half ago. What do you got there, Logan? Uh, our TP. Let's see it. You wanna see it? That's what happens when you don't put your uh, waterproof cover on your tent. Everything gets soaked. <laughs> it's a good comfy pillow. What are you doing there? Well. needs to go that way. Everything's soaked. Everything is soaked. <laughs> Nothing survived. Thank you, T, for letting us come down and hunt. Anytime, come back. <laughs> Gotta get the deer up and moving. It's cooled down probably 10 or so degrees at least. Hold the card. Had one picture on it. So hopefully they wasn't in here last night. They're gonna be in here tonight. Stay tuned. So last night when I made that shot on that doe, which felt good, looked good, rewind the film, everything looked good. Um, Arrow had some stomach matter on it, which confused the heck out of us. We don't know why um, it had stomach matter on it, but it did. So we gave her. We got in here at 10 last night and I shot her at 7.30. So we gave her a couple hours and came in, looked until midnight only went about 40 yards from the tree it's so thick on both sides of this um, little tree line that we lost blood and, but we came back in the morning we didn't hunt this morning wind was wrong for the guys across the street they're hunting the four o'clock buck wind was wrong for them so um, we went and looked for that doe this morning didn't find her that kind of brought down the morale of camp and and then not seeing our, our shooter buck or any buck really over on the other stand is um, really bringing us down. But hey, like I said, we're we're still at it. We're we're gonna be hunting. So um, let's see what happens. And hopefully, I thought I saw a deer. Hopefully, we can get on some tonight. And if another slick head comes in, she's probably gonna have to get shot. We'll see you guys. Thanks for watching.
Nee. Number two, baby. Well, I guess the first one was some kind of zombie deer, but I shouldn't count this one dead either because it was almost the same shot. So hopefully these Kentucky deer don't have weird anatomies or Oh, I gotta keep I gotta keep it quiet. I gotta keep it quiet. I I didn't even want to hunt today. Today has been a roller coaster, man, and it's emotional. Like, I know it's not a monster buck, but I get just ex as excited shooting does, and I, I mean, there's nothing better than that. Getting it on camera, self-filming by yourself out of state. Man, she was difficult to film, too. I, I do apologize for the film quality because I could do a lot better. She came in behind me, and everything I have set up is for in front of me, and it caught me way off guard. I thought she was gonna come in and she, she didn't want to. She she just was nervous or something, but <laughs> that one I made sure was in the frickin' blood pumper because I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna lose another one. And I shouldn't have lost the first one. I still don't know what happened with that first doe, no clue. But this one this one did the old mule kick and took off, so um, I didn't hear her go down, but um, <clears throat> there's so much of this. We're hunting two thickets, all right? So there's a fence line. I shouldn't say a fence line, but a tree line that runs down the middle, thicket on one side, thicket on the other. And uh, she actually came through browsing and came up, and she got close, but then just didn't want to come in. But <laughs> yes. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I was... I'm not lying to you guys, I honestly was, I was frustrated. Um, we went into town to uh, <coughs> post some stuff to Instagram and get some food and um, I met up with a couple of my buddies from college and uh, we hung out at their place for an hour or two and um, just kind of relax. It's been. 90 degrees real temperature and humidity has been probably in the hundreds down here and uh, we left our tent open um, and as we were driving back <laughs> we got into some rain and by rain I mean a monsoon <coughs> excuse me and uh, everything everything in the tent is just soaking wet all of my clothes all of our chargers Everything is just soaking wet. And um, I call her, I FaceTimed my wife when I was up here for some reason I got service and it's probably the first time ever that I got service up on this hill. And I just saw that I had service and I FaceTimed her and was just talking to her and just trying to boost my morale. And, and uh, I didn't even want to hunt. I didn't think I'd have a chance of killing something. And uh, the good Lord answered, I guess, because that's what we came down here for, baby. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be a cool angle or not. It's probably not, but I figured, I figured I'd throw it in. And <laughs> I, I was trying to watch her. She was probably at eight yards right there. I couldn't get the camera on her. Trying to figure out where I was going to shoot her. The only way I could have shot her is if she came down where I did shoot her. Hopefully Logan and uh, Stevie have some good news as well. But that's going to wrap it up for my hunt. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully Stevie and Logan have some really good news after this, too, because I can't wait. I'm actually going to maybe climb down and see if I can look at my arrow. All right, we'll see you guys.
Strong, mate. <laughs> I'm chafing so bad right now. It hurts. I think it might be bleeding actually. <laughs> oh. Oh, heck, that's a <laughs> that old beebs here gonna cough up a lung. I'm chafing, can't even walk straight. Oops. <coughs> Thanks, buddy. <coughs> That's good. Dude, I'm not looking there. Pray manis. Get down level with him. There's blood there. Right here is where she starts to open up. Go that way. Should be able to just pretty much follow it now. Blood right there. Blood right there. There's blood right there. Yeah. I honestly found most of it. Look right here. Right here. I found most of it up top. She's still a little bit, so. Blood. <laughs> oh, dun, dun. She went probably about 50 yards, honestly. If I can, the trees are in the daylight, it's easier to. She didn't go far at all. And actually, I want to I want to show this to our viewers. If they ever stumble across the doe like this, she actually died bedded down. And the way you can tell is that her back legs are tucked up underneath her. So she didn't fall while she, or she didn't she wasn't running and died. She actually came right here and bedded down. And um, her legs are tucked underneath her. And she just died right here. So, real quick, humane death. Um, here's the here's the uh, entry. Actually went right through that shoulder. Holy cow! It went through that shoulder and then blew out. Ooh, there she goes. Blew out. bubbles. Blew out right there. Well, uh, when I said I wanted to do a, uh, <laughs> I wanted to do a shoulder shot on a doe with them kudus, and um, I'd say that's proof right there. That's right in the shoulder. I tore her up. She's not the biggest thing in the world, but it's out of state and. She doesn't have spots.
Congrats, buddy. <laughs> I'm excited. Put the Raptor razors to work. Recording. Holy, holy. That did its job, huh? 